good morning everyone and welcome back to the Lisbon vlogs it is the Lisbon vlog part two today in typical Ellie fashion I have vlogged so much I'm having to split these vlogs into part one and part two unless I want it to be literally a feature length film I don't think anyone has time for that so <laughs> hope you don't mind that I'm uploading them separately if you've not caught up on part one yet I would definitely recommend going to watch that first because I have to say I think it's one of my favorite travel vlogs I've ever filmed we've already been up to so much here in Lisbon I'm doing a lot shopping it was a bag unboxing and of course the most exciting way I have ever traveled in my entire life um, so we have been really really busy so far on our Lisbon trip and we are up bright and early we've headed straight out because we want to explore a little bit more than just like Lisbon itself we decided to kind of like stretch out a little bit and we're going to make our way down to a local seaside village I believe it's called Casquet and it looks beautiful so I've got this gorgeous little river island linen dress on which I absolutely love it's got this stunning pleated skirt my fit flop lip flops and a little Louis basket bag um, and I've gone for the Ray-Ban sunglasses which have these gold chain a sunglass chain attached to it slick back mum and we are ready to go for another day of exploring so I'm really looking forward to it because it looks like such a beautiful little seaside town and I think it'll be so nice just to get out of the city a little bit and enjoy a little bit more of like a coastal adventure so it should be a really nice day just arrived at Cascai now and look at this how beautiful is this is such a gorgeous little coastal town just outside of Lisbon it was a little drive um but honestly the taxis here are like really affordable so it's super easy just to like jump in a cab and explore different areas which is really really nice and it really does feel like such a gorgeous little like coastal town which is so so lovely there's loads more like palm trees feels a little bit more kind of stereotypical like European beachside village which is really lovely just for like a little day trip out of Lisbon We've got the beach down there which we haven't actually brought any um swimmers or anything with us but we might have to dabble our feet in the water because the weather today is beautiful as you can see the sun has officially come out the sky is looking blue and you can feel that september sunshine on you you can really really feel the heat so i think it's just going to be a lovely day exploring cascade i think we're going to go and grab a coffee now and just have a little wonder stunning coffee overlooking the kind of like beachy area and we've just come for lunch at a gorgeous little restaurant called Que Bueno and it is overlooking the marina with the most stunning view I think I have ever ever seen I mean look at this always love to play a game of which boat would you choose it's one of my favorite games ever but um yeah we're just stopping here for lunch the menu looks absolutely delicious and it's just such a lovely atmosphere they've got like really lovely calming music playing lots of lovely drinks so i think it's going to be the perfect lunch spot and i'm not gonna lie i am starving <laughs>
everyone it is a few hours later now we have honestly just had the loveliest day in Caster, i believe it is called it was such a gorgeous little seaside village a little drive out of lisbon i think it was about like 30 40 minutes but totally worth it for a day trip if you're here for like a full week and you just want a little bit of a change of scenery something's like a slightly different vibe it's absolutely beautiful they're so different to lisbon it's much more like I don't know, it feels a little bit more like luxurious, a little bit more kind of like beachy and open and boho. It was just really, really cool. And we didn't even need to bring our swimmers, but if you wanted to, you could definitely bring your swimming costume down, have a little bit of a beach day. I don't know if you can hear that, but where our hotel is, I think there's a subway right underneath because like every so often we sometimes just hear this like rumbling. It's just like this really low like rumble. It's really cool actually, because in London, obviously the tube is so far down, you never hear it. So it must not be too too far below us i'm not sure if you can hear it but i can really feel that like a rumble um but yeah had the loveliest day just the perfect day out and just got back jumped in the shower to just freshen up and we're gonna get ready for dinner i think we're gonna go and have drinks on the rooftop because we have the most beautiful rooftop bar and pool at our hotel just overlooks the city the sun hits at a golden hour and it is just perfect so i thought we could get ready together because I am loving the kind of like summery makeup that I've been doing and I've been doing this pretty much every holiday that I have gone on this year and I know I've been very lucky to travel a lot this year and I do feel like when it comes to holiday makeup or at least just kind of like travel makeup you really want to keep it quite low key and quite easy to do because you don't want to be like faffing about spending hours doing your makeup you want it to take like 15 minutes tops but still make you feel really like put together ready for the evening so I'm going to go in first with the Bobbi Brown skin concealer this is the skin of full cover concealer and i do absolutely love this particularly just a little bit under my eyes and then anywhere that i've got like blemishes like i had a little bit of a breakout i think from um all of the travel that i have been doing but it's like a really nice lightweight concealer there's nothing worse than feeling like you've got something really heavy just like sitting on your skin um so I really like to keep my concealer as light as possible. I just kind of need it to give me that tiny little bit of a freshen up. Do you know what? The lighting, my goodness me. I'm so sorry that this is such a like fluorescent downward light, but needs must in hotels and <laughs> lighting always seems to test us. Then gonna go in with my new favorite base. And now Bobby Brown actually only released this back in maybe like June time, maybe even July. It was quite late into the summer. But ever since I've tried this, I've not wanted to wear anything else. It is the Vitamin Enriched Skin Tint with SPF 15. So it's a really great one, particularly in the evening if you don't want to wear any more like really thick, heavy SPF. I've been wearing SPF 50 every single day when we've been going out because the sun here is really strong. But when it comes to evening foundation or like evening makeup, I don't want my SPF to be like really, really heavy and thick. I don't want it to feel too much on my skin, but I do need some kind of coverage because the sun isn't setting until about like eight eight o'clock maybe like 7 30 8 o'clock so i don't want anything too thick and heavy but i know when we're going out for drinks sitting on the sunset um rooftop bar then i am going to need a little bit of coverage so i am in the shade fair three and it's just such a beautiful shade like really lightweight really creamy you can actually apply this with your hands if you wanted to but for me i just use a little foundation brush you don't need it too much because it just blends so beautifully into your skin a little bit of bronzer to give me that summery glow i always feel like it's always nice just to have a little bit of that kind of like glow going on particularly in the evening and then the product that literally got me back into blusher i know i've spoken about this a lot but i actually never used to wear blusher i always found that because i have quite like rosy cheeks and because i'm quite flushed as a person anyway i never really needed it and it wasn't until i discovered the Bobbi Brown Brightening Blushes that I fell in love with at blush. And I do feel like it's a mixture between the product and also the positioning. One thing I do love about Bobbi Brown products is they're really good at like teaching how to use them as well. If ever you go to like a Bobbi Brown makeup stand, they are so, so good at like teaching how to use the products and like showcasing like how it's best worn. And I am not the kind of person that suits blusher like on the apples on my cheeks. I really suit blusher right on the tip of my cheeks like almost where you would actually put highlight 
and back in like the 2012 2014 era this is where all the girls would just like coat themselves in highlight and they would be glowing from this point but right at the tip of your cheekbone is the best place to apply a blush because it just really like pulls your entire face up and i literally feel like it gives me a free facelift and I cannot imagine not wearing blush now. So just a little bit of that. I use the shade Blushed Pink and it is just the most beautiful, like rosy, goldy glow. It actually has like a little bit of a highlighty shade in there as well. So if you wanted to, you could even go in with like a smaller brush and just really dab right on the tip of your cheekbone just to give you a little bit of a glow i feel like that's really nice for like an evening look but brows wise there is literally one product that i will ever put near my brows ever since starting it to get them done and that is the bobby brown natural brow shape and i'm in the shade neutral brown i feel like it's just like the perfect coverage for me because i don't actually like filling in my brows anymore i feel like i'm the kind of person that kind of realized that i don't suit a thick heavy brow like it just doesn't really suit my face shape i am so much better suited to something a little bit lighter and fluffier but if you're like me and you don't have like the nicest kind of like colored eyebrows this is great because it just gives you that extra little bit of coverage so it kind of like fills in those like sparse areas those gaps but it just makes sure that your brows aren't overly covered they're not like really thick or heavy or anything like that it's just kind of like your brows but better and it just gives you the most beautiful shade and it just helps you kind of like shape them into the perfect frame for your face now when it comes to eyes you guys know that i am so low maintenance i feel like especially ever since getting my lashes lvl i just don't want to be spending hours on eye makeup and i don't want to be putting things on that are really heavy on my eyes like weigh me down or make me feel like i just want to like rip my makeup off so my favorite palette that i use is the Bobbi Brown Jenny Packer collection. It's got the most beautiful little artwork on it. And this is the Blush Nudes Eyeshadow Palette. And you can see why it's called the Blush Nudes Eyeshadow Palette because it really is just the perfect nude shades but in the most beautiful like blush tone. This would be so perfect for like wedding guest makeup or like your wedding day makeup, if you're a bridesmaid, if you are a bride yourself or even just a guest. Um, so I'm just gonna go in with the tiniest little bit of this one. What shade is this? wood rose oh, it's just such a beautiful one and it doesn't have any like shimmer or shine or anything so it's just kind of like a lovely matte shade just to kind of like really emphasize your crease i always just love doing a little bit in my crease just to give you that really lovely shadow and kind of elevate your look ever so slightly for the evening and you guys know the trick with my liner i am a brown shadow girl at heart i love it if you've never seen me do this trick before basically i take an eyebrow brush i use a brown color from an eyeshadow palette and i literally just stamp it onto the edge of my lashes and i feel like it really helps again to give you that like free facelift elevate your face up and is so super flattering I find that it's so much more flattering than a black liner. A black liner can be quite thick, it can be quite heavy, it can always be a bit gothic. If you want something a little bit more natural that's actually gonna kind of like raise your face shape, I find a brown shadow so much more flattering. So all we need to do is the tiniest little stamp right at the end of my lashes and just look at that lift that it gives. I just absolutely love it. I feel like ever since discovering this technique when it comes to liner, I have not gone back and if you really want to go all out with your liner and you really want to give yourself that like full lash look i actually kind of do a little bit of a stamp along my lash line with the liner as well again because it's brown it's a little bit more subtle a little bit more natural it doesn't look like you fully like cold your line with eyeliner like it just looks like the most beautiful natural shade and really helps like elongate your lashes so i don't really feel like i need that tonight i'm just going to do the tiniest little flick if you find that one side is a little bit too thick literally just grab your fingernail and just kind of pull up where the liner is i have a little freckle here so sometimes the liner gets like caught into the freckle but it really helps just to kind of lift it a little bit if ever you find that it's gone too thick so loving that look i never used to be a powder girl i always thought that powder was basically a one stop route to matte and i am not really a matte girl like i don't like my face to be too like mattified i don't like it to be like 2d however this powder i have not stopped going on about this summer it is the vitamin enriched powder from bobby brown and it is the perfect powder at taking away your shine without taking away your glow like let me show you just how well this works so as you can see i'm looking really shiny 
here all i need is the slightest little bit of powder and it still gives the glow but it means i'm not shiny and especially if you're on holiday obviously we get a little bit more shine and a little bit more sheen on our foreheads particularly and if you're someone like me that just loves to do like a low maintenance hair scrape back look i feel like this is just an absolute saving grace at just giving you that like perfected airbrush finish but again doesn't make you lose your holiday glow to finish off another beauty from the jenny packham range i absolutely love this range it's just the most beautiful little kind of like your lips but better lipstick i really like it because it's lightweight so it's great if you're like going out for drinks for dinner you're not going to have to worry about like you know there's like big lipstick marks on your glasses or things like that like you don't have to worry about that but it's still nice and moisturizing really lovely on your lips and i just want everything to be as like moisturizing as possible when i'm away on holiday because my skin gets so dry when i'm out in the sunshine so so many gorgeous products to create just it's such a like easy evening makeup look honestly this makeup look literally takes me about 10 minutes to do when i'm not chatting away to you guys and rambling about all of my favorite products but honestly i have been using these products all throughout summer and i've just been absolutely loving them i really do feel like they're just giving me the perfect easy everyday elevated makeup look and i'm really excited to bring them into my more like autumnal beauty routine because i really want to continue this like lightweight natural beauty i'm really loving that about like bobby brown's ethos i feel like they've been like that ever since i discovered them when i was a teenager they were not one of the first makeup brands that i ever discovered and one of the reasons why i love them is because it was never about like correcting it was never about concealing or hiding it was always just about like enhancing so i love the fact that they really like teach you how to use your products like as i said at the grand old age of 25 i've only just discovered how I wear my blusher and how I can really utilize it to kind of like enhance the features on my face and make sure that it's like working hard for me and that it's fitting into my makeup routine and making me feel amazing. So really happy with tonight's makeup look. It just feels like very elevated, very glowy, very perfect for sunset drinks on the rooftop. I'm really looking forward to it tonight. So I'm gonna go get dressed get my clothes on and i'll show you what i'm wearing so i have just slicked my hair back into the quickest easiest slicked back bun ever i'm not gonna lie to you i love bringing away hair oil with me on holiday as i mentioned i bought the coco and eve like a virgin hair oil i feel like the packaging of this is like the most travel friendly hair oil packaging in the world it's like really lightweight and easy to bring and i really love it because it's kind of like a two-in-one um obviously it's really good for your hair it's great for if your hair freaks out when you go away on holiday personally my hair doesn't like change and obviously i'm so used to the like hardness of the water down in hampshire that if ever i go somewhere that's like a city break usually the water's even harder if i go to a country break the water's softer and often my hair just doesn't like it so it's really nice to almost like act as like a little bit of a calming lotion on my hair so obviously it's really good for my hair but also it's amazing because you can literally just apply it to like the sides of your hair slick it back and then it just gives you almost like a gel like slick in your hair which i am loving um i brought this tangle teaser with me on holiday and i'm not gonna lie i forgot how much i adore this one it's the one without the handle it's a great one for traveling i do find the tangle teasers just the best brushes in the entire world i'm also someone that doesn't comb my bun like i much prefer running the brush through because i feel like it makes it less like streaky do you ever find that that when you use a comb it almost like really separates out the hair strands so i really like just using a brush to slick it back um i also did a top up um after my shower of my body self tanning drops from the isle of paradise um i'm absolutely loving these to keep on top of my tan then i'll just do a quick spritz of the chamberlain pomegranate noir because this is my perfume of the holiday i mentioned in my last vlog that i always love choosing like one particular scent to kind of remind me of the holiday and this holiday is definitely a pomegranate noir holiday i feel like this is the perfect scent for kind of like end of summer early autumn and if i spritz this enough it will always remind me of Lisbon and that's what I love doing. So kind of need to get this in a travel size because it was a lot bringing this full bottle in my case with me. I always like getting like a full size and a travel size of all of my favorite perfumes because it just means that it makes them so much easier to take away on a holiday. And then outfit of the evening, I've got this little Zara dress on which I absolutely adore. It's like a really easy, loose, natural smock dress. And I know I mentioned it in my South of France video, but 
these bras are game changing and I know so many of you shopped them after I linked them in the South of France vlog so I'll link them down below because as you can see I've got a whole neck on and we don't have any annoying bra straps which makes me really really happy I've just popped on some little hoop earrings my vintage watch a couple of sparkly diamante bracelets and I'm wearing my castagna espadrilles which have been such a game changer this holiday because it gives me a little bit of height but the cobbles are no joke so heels are not the one on holiday it's just a cute little wedge and a cute little pump and then I'm gonna wear my Holland Cooper bag. This has been my evening bag of the holiday for pretty much the entire of summer, actually. I absolutely love it. So, outfit of the evening, ready for sunset drinks on the rooftop. I am really, really looking forward to it. where every time I come into the mirror, the background behind me is just looking messier and messier. Please tell me we're not the only ones that are like majorly tidy at home, really organized with how everything looks. And then as soon as you get on holiday, I feel like it's because in hotel rooms, there's not like a place for everything. Whereas obviously at home, you're like, I know my hats go here. I know my bags go there. Um, and in hotels, they always give you very limited storage. Um, so please excuse the mess behind me, but good afternoon. Actually, it's not the morning. I was about to say good morning, everyone, but good afternoon. It is day five day five here in Lisbon and we've just been having the loveliest morning so far we decided just to take it easy this morning because we have been going ham on the sightseeing we've been going ham on the exploring and I think we all just needed a bit of a chill one today so we spent the vast majority of the day just chilling out by the pool relaxing and soaking up some rays but I've just got changed into this gorgeous little Suzanne dress which I'm so in love with and we're gonna head out for the afternoon we're thinking about getting a tuk-tuk around the old Kind of like old town area because it looks beautiful there it looks like there's lots of like restaurants cafes places to grab a drink some lunch and the tuk-tuks do look a lot of fun um so this is my outfit for the day it is a really really warm one today it's jumped up to about 29 degrees so the Suzanne dress is out and i'm so in love with this you would have seen not in my last vlog so obviously that was lisbon part one but my last last vlog that i had to get a lady c to alter this was well, i had to i asked lady c very nicely if she could alter this um and she managed to pull the straps up because they're not adjustable so that's the only thing I will say about the stress is you will have to either stitch it yourself or take it to a seamstress but I love how it looks it's just such a gorgeous little like holiday number and I've actually paired it with the little Suzanne bag as well because I just feel like this is perfect just for like a little afternoon out sightseeing and exploring and um, I've then got my Chloe slides on Ray-Ban sunglasses and my little bow to hat just to kind of keep the sun off my shoulders because if I'm wearing such a like little strappy dress then I do not want to be getting any burn lines whilst I am away. So I'm really excited for an afternoon of exploring the old town so let's get going.
good shout. She took us around all of the best parts of the old town. The parts that you would not want to walk because the hills are literally no joke here in Lisbon. So it's just been so much fun. And we are ending the day on, I think, probably the rooftop bar in Lisbon. I'm calling it now. This is such a vibe. I have to admit, the rooftop bar that we went to was yesterday, the other night. Wasn't, I feel like it was a little bit more, it's really hard to explain, but it reminds me of the kind of places in London that are just like the place to be. They're not necessarily like the best service or the best drinks or even like the best views. It's more just about like the ego of going out, like being seen there. That's what yesterday is. Was it yesterday? I cannot even remember. That's what the rooftop bar felt like the other day. Today, however, we have found the vibiest rooftop bar I have ever been to. This, I think it's my favorite. We've all said that we want to come back here because it is absolutely amazing. It's called Rocio, and it's at the top of a hotel that is overlooking the amazing train station. I mean, look at this view that I am looking out onto. If you're scared of heights, then maybe uh, skip forward about 30 seconds because wowie, is this just such an incredible view. And it's just like so, picturesque and in love with the kind of like aesthetic of it and it stretches all the way around over there which is just absolutely amazing so we've grabbed some drinks we're having a mojito and it's just the perfect way to end such a lovely day at sightseeing just feeling it in the sunshine oh the clock tower's going off can you hear that oh my god that's absolutely amazing just the perfect end to such a perfect day sightseeing just having a drink on the bougiest Vibiest rooftop bar in Lisbon. everyone it is a couple of hours later now i am showered freshly washed and getting ready for the evening i'm not gonna lie i feel like we have fully adopted the kind of like portuguese way of living i always find this when we go away to like european countries like spain particularly and portugal is that everything just like gets shifted backwards your entire body clock gets shifted backwards like we're not eating lunch till about two three o'clock every day and we're not even going out for dinner until like half seven eight so i'm currently just having a coke from the fridge to keep me going until dinner is there anything better than a coke from the mini fridge um but just done my hair and makeup i freshly washed my hair I've just chucked it back for now to get it out of my face but i'm kind of liking this hairstyle i'm not entirely sure if i'm gonna do this um for tonight's look but just done a full face of bobby brown makeup and i actually did the technique that i was talking about the other night with regards to my liner so i've not done a wing today but instead it's gonna be so difficult to show you with this really really harsh lighting i feel like i almost need to like do that um but i have just lined my lashes with the um brown eyeliner and i feel like it just helps to like really elevate them and give you more of like an evening look which i'm absolutely loving but i'm not gonna lie i'm having a bit of a predicament this evening with what i should wear i've got two outfit options for dinner tonight we're actually going to this amazing looking seafood restaurant it's on the road that we are on literally about like three doors down that way so we're probably just gonna have like drinks on the rooftop again tonight um and then walk down when we're ready for dinner um so that's why we've been so late getting ready this evening because we know that we literally have to walk like 10 paces and we are at the restaurant but it is the most amazing looking seafood restaurant that i think i have ever ever seen so i've got two dresses to choose from i know that this isn't real time but i want your help in deciding what to wear because i feel like you guys always give the best advice so i have two dresses to choose from tonight dress at number one is this gorgeous little slip from h&m which is just like really slinky it's the same kind of neckline as what i was wearing today so it's gonna match my tan lines from today really really well i'm not gonna lie i have really tanned my chest and shoulders from being out in the sun all day today um and then outfit option at number two is this gorgeous little knitted Cezanne number it's a bit more like body on a little bit more kind of like slinky i feel, feel like we're just going to need to try them on alex is here as well so i can decide which one to wear he can let me know which is his favorite and 
we can choose which dress is best to wear for a little seafood dinner for night five here in Lisbon. So, outfit option number one is the little H&M slip dress, which I do love because it's quite like slinky, not too bodycon, not too tight. What do we think, darling? Outfit option number one, little slip dress, do we like? Very nice. Very nice. Okay, I'll show you option number two and we can decide which one is best for tonight. My only concern is that, I'm not gonna lie, the straps from my bralette that I was wearing today underneath the Suzanne dress were driving me nuts. I do hate that, that was spaghetti straps. So I'm gonna have to put little nipple stickers on tonight, which is never my favorite thing to do. I feel like I'm never the most confident with that, but I do love the fact that we have a little bit more room to like eat and have a food maybe in this dress, but let me put on number two. An outfit option number two, this little Suzanne number, which if we go for this one, it's a very Suzanne heavy day today, but I do love their pieces. I need to take the uh, label off of this actually. I do love their pieces. What do we think, darling? Outfit number one or outfit number two? Dos. Dos? Dos, okay. Even though that's Spanish, but... Yeah, what is it in Portuguese? It's so similar in Portuguese with regards to the language. Most actually, most people here in Portugal do understand or speak Spanish. A lot of them don't speak English though. So it's really handy that we have answers. Ah. Hmm? It's da. Like it's similar. Da, not yeah. dos. Well, it's a bit like how it's hola without the H. Dois. Oh, dois. 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 Okay, we're going for op option number dois <laughs> for tonight. Okay. <laughs> Oh my goodness me, that terrified me. <laughs> a very Suzanne heavy day today, but I do love this dress. I feel like we need to accessorize it a little bit, put some jewelry on. I think I might let my hair down because I think I feel like that will just help to kind of like frame my neckline a little bit more. So let's accessorize the look and then we are ready for dinner tonight. So outfit of the evening, little Suzanne number. I'm actually really happy. I feel like this dress, it's just such an easy one to throw on for the evening. Like it looks really elegant, really sophisticated. I love the neckline as well. It has this like scallop detail, which I just think is so, so cute. And then it runs really low on the back, but you can still wear a bra with it, which is always really handy. Um, so yeah, super comfy one to wear for tonight, but looks very, very elegant. Although I'm not gonna lie, because it is quite a like, evening outfit i kind of want to bring it down a little bit i don't want to dress it up i want to dress it down so i've actually gone for the chloe duo my little chloe bucket bag and chloe slides because i feel like it just helps to kind of make it a little bit less like black tie and a little bit more just like nice evening dinner so we've gone at double chloe's and then i've actually just added my little tiny pandora necklace which i really really love it's the one with the gold chain at the back um and then a really cute little pair of earrings i think these are stella bartlett ones um but they're the cutest little gold huggy hoops with these teeny tiny little pearls we've gone for a pearl bracelet gold chain bracelet gold diamante ring um and then i've gone for my vintage inspired watch with a little gold bangle so we're really mixing and matching our metals now which i am loving i do feel like hair down with this dress as well just really lifts it and just kind of like completes the entire look so really really looking forward to tonight's dinner actually let's do a quick little spritz of perfume i am of course wearing my joan malone pomegranate noir this has been the perfume of the holiday alex's aftershave of the holiday in case anyone is um interested i say aftershave it's actually like a unisex perfume it's the aqua de palma blue mediterranean i think this might have been a limited edition one so this might not be available anymore but i do love aqua de palma they have just so many gorgeous scents for both men and women and actually that might be quite nice because it's a unisex one to bring it for both of you on holiday like if you're going away with your partner but of course pomegranate noir is the scent of the evening Mm. I'm always someone that sprays my perfume last minute over the top of all of my jewellery because I just love it when it's like you just get that like waft of scent just before you're going to see someone. You give them a hug and they're like, oh, you smell amazing. Like I love it when my clothes smell of the perfume as well. So that's us ready for tonight's dinner. I'm really, really looking forward to it. You guys know what a big seafood fan I am. So I think this is going to be such an amazing, like really authentic Portuguese seafood restaurant, which is just exactly what the doctor ordered. So let's get going, ready for a night five out in Lisbon. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to day six here in Lisbon. 
my goodness me has this week been flying by but it is a, another beautiful blue sky sunny morning i'm not gonna lie it's just my favorite thing waking up in the morning and pulling open these drapes looking at the gorgeous like goldy leafy trees and seeing that blue sky up above it is just my favorite thing in the world we've actually got a really exciting evening planned this evening it's something that alex booked before we even came out because whenever you google things like do in lisbon or see or like sightseeing things it is always like number one that comes up and that is a sunset riverboat cruise so we've got that planned and booked for this evening so we figured we would just have a bit more of a chill day we're gonna head back up to the pool today and just spend the day chilling out just kind of like decompressing so obviously we've been doing a lot going a lot of places seeing a lot of things and walking so so much because obviously Lisbon is such a big hilly city so we have done literally I think about 20,000 steps every single day so everyone just kind of needs a little bit of a rest today and we figured that we would just make the most to the fact that we're going to be heading out later this evening have a bit of a pool day relax grab some snacks play some cards dip in and out of the pool um, and then get ready for the river boat cruise this evening which i'm really really looking forward to i mean a sunset boat cruise sounds like the dream so i think it's going to be such a lovely day for our second to last our penultimate day here in lisbon so not exactly got a full outfit of the day to show you, but swimming costume of the day is this Stripe Hunza Chi one. I bought this just before we went away to the south of France, and oh my goodness me, I love it. It's such a gorgeous, like, style. I really, really love the stripes because it's just a bit different to anything else that I have, like any of my other Hunza Gs. It's in the classic scoop neck, which I always find, like, the most comfortable, the easiest to wear. And what I love about the Hunza Gs is just how much they just, like, flatter you. They're so comfy and easy to wear, and it is, like, a one size fits all situation so they stretch they shrink like they honestly are just the best things in the world so just got the Hunza G on I'm going to chuck my little beach cover up over the top we can head to breakfast and then head up to the pool My goodness me have we had the loveliest most relaxing day up by the rooftop pool. we ordered lunch to our sun loungers we've been having drinks dipping in and out of the water and it has just been the perfect chilled out relaxing day i feel like often when you're on a city break you don't always give yourself like a day just to recuperate like a day by the pool because it needed we all just feel so refreshed and we're so excited for this evening so i think i mentioned this morning that we have a really really exciting evening this evening we booked this before we even came away to lisbon we have got a sunset cruise which i am really really looking forward to i love being on a boat i don't know what it is about boats and do you know what it's so funny i feel like ever since watching mamma mia 2 i can't say boat normally anymore it's that scene where bill is introduced and um she's there with the friends and the one that plays the young julie andrews who is brilliant by the way she deserved an oscar for that acting like honestly i did 1000 percent believe that it was julie andrews but like 40 years ago um and it's when bill comes and obviously he's stunning he's gorgeous and he has a boat and she's like he's got a boat Oh my goodness, he looks like that and he's got a boat. <laughs> I literally cannot say boat without that kind of accent anymore. But yes, we are going on a boat this evening, which I'm so, so excited about. So I put on, this is actually the dress that I wore on the first night that we were here in Lisbon. I am doing a Lizzie McGuire and I am outfit repeating, partially because I think it's going to be a really good one for being out on the water. Despite the fact that it is currently like 28 degrees, that temperature drops so quickly when the sun goes down 
and also i have a feeling that it's going to be very windy whilst we're out on the water so i feel like this is probably the best option to wear it's this gorgeous little river not river island forever new dress and it's like this really lovely like pastely kind of like floral colors really like autumnal september kind of a vibe which i really really like um and then i've just accessorized it with some earrings we've got we're going gold tonight which i'm really loving i've got this really cute little gold pandora infinity ring on um now the one thing i'm struggling with i'm not gonna lie to you is my hair I'm really unsure what to do with it i was debating whether to do a slick back bun but i know that with the wind the alfalfa sprouts are going to be out here by the end of the boat tour so what i'm thinking it's doing a bit of a silk scarf combo. I'm just gonna like leave it down. I've literally just been playing about with it all day and just had it kind of like up and down as I've been in and out of the pool. But I'm thinking of doing like a bit of a scarf, kind of like head scarf situation. But I feel like I'm not really the coolest person in the world to do it. Like I've seen so many people do this online. They always look really cool when they do it. And I don't know if I'm gonna look so cool. So I think we can just do like a little knot down here this is a really gorgeous little holland cooper silk scarf it's been um a little bit crushed up so it could probably do it with a steam but i feel like i'm not giving cool vibes i'm instead giving 1920s washerwoman vibes how does anyone do a silk scarf cool like i've seen so many people do it when they're like in convertibles or on boats or things like that and they just look like really chic and effortless very like 1950s maybe i need to add sunglasses do i need to like let my ears out or something is that no that's definitely not better <laughs> oh my god i look like a pirate oh that's absolutely ridiculous do we need some sunglasses will that kind of like chic it up a little bit no no it's not it's not giving chic <sighs> i was really hoping that this would give chic do i need to like tie it in the back oh no that's that's not a vibe i don't know how i'm gonna do this because i really just wanted to do like a super easy just leave my hair down and kind of like let it do its thing but then protect it with the scarf maybe i need to watch some youtube videos some like tutorials on how to do this if anyone knows how to do a scarf really chic please let me know what i could potentially do is instead of doing it like over my head is i just do my hair up in like a pony or a bun at the back and then do the scarf as like a little accessory maybe that would be better to kind of keep it in place because i do not think that it's going to work doing like a full head scarf because i just i just can't pull it off i don't know what it is or how girls make it look cool but i cannot pull that off <laughs> okay verdict for tonight i'm bringing the silk scarf but i'm not gonna wear the silk scarf i'm taking it as a little twilly which i've just attached to my bag which i feel like goes really well with this dress because the color combo is like almost identical it's really really weird how similar it is um and i feel like it goes really beautifully so i'm gonna bring the silk scarf as a twilly on my bag and then it means that i can attach it to my head if it's like super windy i can wrap it around my hair if i want to but I have the option not to. Uh, it, doesn't, it means I'm not gonna like lose it or anything. Um, and I don't have to worry too much about it. So I feel like that's the verdict we've gone for. That's what I'm happy with. So we're just doing a slick back pony because I feel like it kind of works with this dress. I quite like the slick back pony at the moment. I'm really, really enjoying that as a look. Um, I have put the hair oil in my hair, but I know for a fact it's not gonna hold, but you know what? We're gonna enjoy the sunset cruise and not worry too much about how the hair looks because I'm loving the outfit as well. I feel like this outfit is just really giving like sunset cruise vibes. Um, gone for, as I said, gold accessories. Oh, my ring. <gasps> I can't believe I was vlogging that whole time without my engagement ring on. You probably thought that there was a divorce on the cards, um, but I always take it off when I shower and I just forgot to put it back on. I put on all of the rest of my jewelry, but not the engagement ring. Um, so got my gorgeous vintage inspired watch and then I've gone for two bangles, gold and silver, which I really, really like. And then we're going for black accessories. I'm going for my little Castagna espadrilles, which I feel like are a good shoe to wear because they're closed toe. Again, I don't want to get too chilly. I do feel like I'm really trying to like prepare myself to make sure I'm as comfy as possible possible apparently they provide blankets which is fabulous if you get a little bit too cold i might also bring actually i have like a little um black shawl that i can chuck over my shoulders as well so i might bring that as well because it will go with all of the black accessories it won't like stand out too much so castagna espadrilles a holland cooper bag obviously got the twilly in tow and the gorgeous forever new dress i am ready for a sunset cruise this evening we're going to head out a little bit early just to go and grab some drinks along the harbor enjoy the kind of like atmosphere soak up our penultimate night here in lisbon and then we're gonna head off for our sunset cruise i am so so excited <laughs>
Lisbon, my goodness me, has this week gone quickly. It has been such a busy week full of so many amazing things. I think this has been one of my favorite trips that we have done this year. And we've been lucky enough to do a lot of travel this year, but I really do feel like we have made the most of the end of it. Some we've just been soaking up the September sunshine. And I must say, I feel like September is so a good time to come and visit Lisbon if you're looking for like an end of summer summer holiday like a little bit of a city break like a weekend trip or something like that Lisbon is the place to be and apparently it actually stays about this warm until maybe about January time so I feel like October November would be amazing months to come and visit Lisbon but we have really been soaking in the September sunshine it's been so so lovely to make the most of the end of summer so our last day we've just been chilling by the pool this morning just really soaking in at the last of the trip i think we're going to go out and get some lunch maybe somewhere with a view and just enjoy the culture enjoy the atmosphere enjoy the vibes it really is such a beautiful city i've enjoyed myself so so much and i am aware that we've been doing it a lot this trip both part one and part two of the vlogs have been jam-packed so i really hope you guys have enjoyed them and i thought i would actually end this vlog here i feel like it's just such a perfect setting just to sit and finish the vlog overlooking the most beautiful views in such a chill calm environment it really is just so so lovely up here so if you did enjoy the video i'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and i will leave all of my travel vlogs in the highlight linked down below if you do want to check out any of the other vlogs if you've missed any of the other travels this year we've been so so lucky to go to so many amazing places i'm not gonna lie i'm really looking forward to getting home because it does look like autumn is well and truly underway in the uk although i'm only gonna have a few days of it because i'm away on another trip <laughs> in just a couple of days which of course i will be taking you guys along with me so if you haven't hit the subscribe button make sure to do that now so you don't miss any of my videos and i will see you guys when we're back home in the uk i really hope you have enjoyed it coming along on our lisbon travel it has just been such a wonderful week <laughs>